I really like this. I really like this kind of fight, and I hope there's more emphasis on this kind of boss fight in Elden Ring. But, who knows. I like the big bombastic boss fights, but there's something nice about these pseudo-puzzle bosses that will, that will still fuck you up. You can fight him totally normally if you want, but... Oh, that's not really in the spirit of it, I guess. So Patches is there. Um, when we enter um, 2-2 proper, he'll disappear for a bit. Then when we, we encounter him there, well, that'll be sorted. Cool. We'll change that. You know what? We're right there. Let's let's finish this. We're going to Maiden in Black. Um, we'll dupe the soul. We'll check out that stuff. And then we're going there. Thou seeketh soul power, dost thou then yeah, I'll skip this part. Soul now, I'm going to grab this. More health. Bit of endurance. Of Look, I'm just going to top off on health. Vessel. I think I'll be good for the meantime in that respect. Um, so the world might be great Axe, I'm going to require a bit more so strength. I'm going to find that in 2-2, two -two, so I kind of want to be a bit higher. Ah, oh, but the decks would be nice just to do, to use different stuff. Hmm, I don't know. Ah, oh, fuck it. It's better for what I'm using right now, so more strength. Thou done? Main thine. Thank you very much, girl. I've got all these souls I'm getting from the levels, but really, I'm trying not to use them simply because, well, when I'm duping stuff, it really takes all the fun out of it, so I could use these, but eh. Being low leveled makes this a little more cool, I reckon at least. There's, there's a certain fun to it, I guess. I can fall. Okay, let's see. Deep inside storm. Okay, no. Damn it. Um, I was meant to find his dialogue, but I didn't do it. So I guess that'll be homework for when we do 2 2. Okay, so I already duped the swollen soul. So, hero, demon's sword. You have a heart. Cool. Cool. So, that can make a cool sword eventually. Um, it's not very good, admittedly, but still. Anyway. Urbane. Thanks to you, I was able to seek refuge in this nexus. Now I stay here and pray, along with my disciples, for the heroes facing the demons. If you wish for benevolent protection in your fight against the demons, then bring me demon souls. I will cleanse them and perform a miracle with their power. Let's have a look as to what he has. So, with um, multiple colorless souls, we can get recovery. Which is replenishment, battle for light, etc. That's what I was forgetting about. Alright. Regeneration. Second chance. We'll look at all these. So, recovery. Miracle from a primeval demon soul. Greatly recovers the caster's HP. In order to combat evil, God empowered mankind with special power. We looked at Antidote before. Regeneration. Miracle from the Demon Adjudicator's Soul. Recovers the HP a little at a time. This miracle is a countersign against the Pagan Adjudicator who devours humans. And second chance. Miracle from the Demon Old Hero's Soul. Revives the user from death once only. This miracle is a countersign against the pagans who worshipped death and the dead. So we'll get one of we'll get one of each. Um, let me just make sure I duped those first. Oh, sorry, should have let him talk, but we'll hear that again, I'm sure. Okay, let's just make sure I actually did that. Um, I want to take. Let's just make sure. Yeah, good, I duped him. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Cool. I just don't want to run out of them should I want to upgrade some boss weapons a tiny bit. Oh, is that you again? Yeah, it is. What's up? Do you have further? Yeah. Okay, so we'll get that. Cool. Now, I can't really use m most of them. This is just me being pedantic. Um, I want this to be in correct order. So, recovery, we can't use this because we need two slots. Regeneration, well, we could use, but yeah. Second chance. This is that, um, this is, well, yeah, if you couldn't tell, this is that miracle I was talking about. Now, it says once, but what it means is once per cast. 
It's caressing tears from Dark Souls. Except, um... Wait, is it caressing tears? Is that what it's called in 3? It, it's the one that keeps you from dying. It leaves you on 1 HP. Instead, this fully revives you, or at least, I think, most of your health. 60% maybe? I've never used it. Um, big MP cost, first and foremost. We don't even have enough to use it, and we need a second slot, so yeah. I'll keep heal for the sake of it. And you know what? Regeneration is probably more useful. Anyway, let's have a conversation. Ah, Astraea of the Valley of Defilement? I'm not sure, but Saint Astraea of the West was accompanied by the knight Garl Vinland. She would never turn to evil with that upstanding knight to guide her. Surely it is mere slander. Sadly, the weak are prone to such backstabbing. You can probably see where Petrus and all the other guys came from in Dark Souls 1. If you truly are a disciple, then you must have a talisman in God's image. Heavenly miracles occur in Boletaria through the talismans. God has granted this accursed land with a special power. It is God's way of telling us we must stand up to the demons. After the dark arts spread across the land, holy miracles were witnessed once again. The will of God is clear. We must defeat the demons, annul the curse of Boletaria, and purge the evil magicians who manipulate those accursed souls. So yeah, we're starting to get a bit more talk about Astraea. As you know, souls are a source of evil power emanating from the demons. King Alant was overcome by a lust for such power and has placed Boletaria in her present predicament. Old Freak and the Candle Maiden are no exception. We must defeat the demons and purge the evil magicians who manip- Sorry, I think that was new, but- Old Freak. Yeah, okay, cool. God bless this brave warrior. Umbasa. Got some, uh, got some goodies here. Some food, some wine, etc. Yeah, yeah, fuck you. Alright, well, we're done here. Let's get going. Uh, let's just check. I should probably dump some stuff, just cause. Yeah, this stuff adds up. It's not even the reason I'm so heavy, it's all the fucking arrows. <laughs> Hitless too, actually. Compound, you can get out of here. Talisman of God will keep. We'll, uh, get rid of this for the meantime. We'll keep the fire on me. Holy can wait. Yes, so, so as you can see, arrows, man. They take a lot. Um, apologies if my voice sounds like it's going, because I think it is. Not the, uh, not the best thing to have as a teacher. I can tell you that much. You have a heart of... Oh, actually, hold on. Do you have anything else to say, man? Hello, I... Probably not. Saints, sages, and all manner of wise men watch over the halls of this nexus. This rejuvenating sanctorium is a fine place for the slayers of demons to rest their weary bones. I too must contribute how I can, for we are indebted to our honorable defenders. What is the world like outside the nexus? With brave souls like you confronting these vile demons. Perhaps it won't be long before things return to normal. At least that is what we are all praying for. Yeah, I don't know most of the triggers for the dialogue, but it's cool it's changing up now. Perhaps it won't be long. At okay. least that is what we are all... You have a heart. I mean, it's obviously just progress through the levels, but anyway. Anything else to Strava? Probably not, eh? But perhaps our eight. Yep. Cool. Um, one thing. Yeah, so I meant to point this out. Killing Meralda made us light up a little bit on the tendency. That's rad. So that's kind of what I was... Well, what am I saying? That is what I was talking about. Uh, we kill enough Black Phantoms. We can go talk to the Monumental and 
get the friend ring. And then we'll see if we uh, eventually go down the path of getting the phone ring. Killing NPCs. What a noble cause. Alright. I wasn't anticipating going this far, but fuck it, we're here. Honestly, other than that ridge that I keep talking about, this is probably the easiest world for me. Alright, let's do this. Um, if you haven't played Dark Souls 3, don't worry about this. If you've played Dark Souls 3, you will recognize this. If you've played this, well, you know what's going on. the Storm King. So this is the boss fight. Another pseudo puzzle boss. But it's a very cool one. So the Thief Ring will make this easier. Um, our friend the Storm King will come past for bombing runs. I don't believe he'll come past for one right now because he's a little high up. There is time... Well, there's, base, there's fights based on time, basically. Uh, so there's, I think there's two lizards up ahead. We can only really get one. Oh fuck. So we'll go for you. Oh fuck you. So I think these are the ones that can drop the pure, um, pure Dark Moon. Pure Cloud we get from beating the boss in the Art Stone. I'm taking this set. I'm gonna get fucking murked any second now, I know it. Chunk. So, right here. Wait, no. What am I saying? <laughs> there it is. There's that sound effect they like using. That's what they use for the ghosts in, um, in New Londo in Dark Souls 1. Alright, so we got us a cool sword. The Storm Ruler. Hitboxes. <laughs> Collision, rather. Now, where is our big friend? He is up there. Alright. We're going to duck and cover. As a start. So I can kind of show off what's going on here. This is where you hide. Specifically that back wall. Holy arrows. Alright, let's uh, let's whack on the Storm Ruler. We will read this really quick. A, leg a legendary large sword with a thorny blade, named for one who calms storms. It is said the ancestors of the Shadowmen rendered the storm and the clouds in the sky with it. Now abandoned, with much of its power lost, it is an average large sword. However, if it is used in the monolith forest, where ancestral spirits slumber, you may be able to reawaken its ancient power to rend the sky. Now let's check out weight. Cool. Now... So yeah! There we go. It's our friend from Dark Souls 3. Let's just pop this on. Okay. Except this time you don't have to use the weapon art because weapon arts don't exist. Yeah, this is the coward way to do it, to be honest. I'm just going to thin out the herd. Now, we've got to be careful because of our big friend. Uh, it appears we are in the open. That couldn't... That could be quite bad. Ow, fuck you. Where is he? He's up there. Okay, I think enough time has passed where he might consider doing a bombing run. And yes, it is a very literal bombing run. Let's watch. Nah. <laughs> Let's try to do some of this first. Collision, who needs it? When we have the power of the storms, so we can just go through walls. So in case it wasn't obvious, this is the monolith forest. Um, bunch of ruins. It's power through... Oh, they're still awakened here. Um, 
Now you'll notice this is not damaging the boss health one bit. We have to wait for Storm King to come down to even consider hitting it. Which means, well, for the meantime, why not farm? See, if this is, um, as I was saying, this is where you farm. Um, Cloudstone. I think these guys can drop pure. I can't remember. But obviously, you know, I'm implying these guys might not be around when the boss is dead. Well, sorry, will be around when the boss is dead. Which is 100% the case. Okay, it appears he is coming in. He is coming in for the bombing run. We will duck in cover. Like a lucky like iron giant. We will now have a look. Can I occasionally get you through the wall, so you gotta be careful. And now How about me? Oh fuck. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> that uh, totally fucked up because of aiming. Free aim. Yeah, okay. Now that sucked. That totally sucked. Hey, how you doing there, uh, low frame rate Storm Beast? Sup, man? You good? You good? Your days about to get very. Oh, he's, uh, he's coming in. These guys hurt. Ow. Okay, now we should be able to get him. There we go. So, as it was implying, you won't have this effect anywhere else. However, um, fighting other enemies, apparently this has some very good knockback. That also extends to if you're an invader or a host and fighting other, ca other players. Fuck you. What's he doing? Jumping in for it. Okay. Huh. Well, I'm assuming they deal magic if they hit me through that. Wow, we're uh, we're missing. This sucks. Hmm. Interesting. That's uh, that's weird. Normally, that doesn't miss like that. Huh. I've got to be fucking something up. You, on the other hand. Oh, fuck you. All right, now he's a little butt hurt still, so he's coming back. So we're gonna hide behind here. Can't be a few more flying at us. Nope. So I guess those things he fires are sentient, or that either that or they're just like homing missiles, <laughs> one way or the other. So now we've removed basically all the challenge to this fight. It's just us and the Storm King. You can see why this is the easiest world, but man, it's cool. This is such an awesome fight. It's not even... Uh, oh, that was, that was... That could have been fucking awful. So much so, my brain broke trying to process what was going on. Ow, fuck you. Fuck you, Storm King. So, um, while we're murdering this thing, I might as well talk about the fact that, yeah, this is the god that all the Shadow Men pray to. Okay, the wings don't count. Fantastic. This is their god. Wow, Crescent Moongrass is fuck all now. So, this thing was reborn, similar to the Judicator and the old hero, um, by the old one's power. What a old in this game. That's for sure. So yeah, we're fighting their god. Pretty cool. I just hope we can hit it properly. I think aiming for the head and the core body actually is a lot better than going for the wings like the game is trying to make me. Okay, that hit. A few more hits and we will fell the winged beast. Meanwhile, 150. Now that's not bad. I forget if you can upgrade this. I believe it requires 0, zero to use, right? Yeah, zero, 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 because you need to be able to wield it to win this fight. At all. Alright, come on you. This is probably an awful place to hide. This is an awful place to hide. 
I'm on the Storm King. Feel the thunder. That was cheap and long as fuck. Alright, Storm King. It's been a bash. Oh. Come on. No, it's not gonna hit. Alright, one more. One more pass. I'm a little upset none of those hit. Oh well. Which way is he coming in? Coming in this way. So we'll duck and cover. So I will mention, back in Dark Souls 3, in the old beta versions, they found, um... Well, you can still see a remnant of it in the description of the Storm Ruler there. Um, that apparently was going to be used to kill the Curse Rod of Great War. And said it was repurposed. So, you know. From soft love they carry overs, don't they? There we go. So now if we want, we can progress into Boletaria further. Now let's just make sure we got everything. I'm pretty sure we did. If anything, we might see some, um... Okay, yep, yeah, there we go. If anything misunderstandings basically if we uh well the, the, I'll try to English sorry oh my brain basically hitting those um storm beasts make it so sometimes yeah their uh, loot is unobtainable it'll be out of bounds or just flat out unaccessible might might have landed too high up for us to grab that's a bug that can happen in Dark Souls 1 it really fucking sucks so yeah, we got one of the lizards, not both. Oh well. Because we beat the because we beat the area boss, those lizards will appear three more times each. So we have three more chances to get their goodies. Anyway, let's spend these souls. Dupe the Song King soul. Read some descriptions and call it quits. I've been going for almost three hours. Except for that little break. Man, this will give me enough footage for like a week and a half, basically. Ah, probably not. Probably just a week. Thou seeketh soul power, dost thou not? Yeah, then so nothing that... changes here. Okay, now we can branch out a little bit. I'll get... I'll get some more decks. Hmm. We'll do this. Fuck. Oh, it's 16, that's right, so that doesn't even matter. Damn it. Oh, well. Ah, what a shame. There we go. Let's drop off some stuff at Thomas first. Notably this, because I'm really not going to need that for the meantime. You, ephemeral eyes, get out of here. Um, turpentine, I didn't even use once. Sticky white stuff. Um, I'll keep two on me for the meantime. It'll depend on what I do next. We'll read this. The soul... Of a demon storm king. Blah blah blah, same thing as always. Mm hmm. We'll look at the pure, because this is our first pure. Extremely rare pure cloudstone. Enhances shields in particular. Um, same thing. Um, as you can see, weighs four. So that's a uh, pretty hefty unit. Um, this sword weighs six. We can keep all that. Yeah, it's the arrows. All the arrows can get out of here. Our fire arrows aren't really going to help us too much, I think. Radio. Good shit. Sweet. How much did I need? <sighs> we'll just pop something. I'm not going to use boss holes for leveling purposes, of course. Sorry, soldier. That should do it, I hope. I'm probably super wrong and I need more. I probably need more. Soul nope. Of the cool. Mind, key to life yeah, 16. Soul of the lost, yeah. From its vessel. Fuck it, we'll go Dex. Dex will give us more immediate results. Let's just have a look. 49. And if we two hand, what do we get? Is that 59? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Now we'll equip the next seal binding. We'll do the duping. So we can have a look at what the Storm King so makes. It's simple. It, have you got anything uh, new to say? 
dip inside. No, but, okay. Yeah, I think we'll be... We'll do the first level of Valley of Defilement, and then we will progress into Stone Fang further. That's a hurry. Because, yeah, um, there's a bunch of cool boss weapons we can start to look at. Um, Deposit. Storm King. You have a... Um, namely, well, with those last few bosses, we can make a few cool weapons. First and foremost, Adjudicator, we can make its machete. It's pretty fucking strong. It's um, called the Butcher's Knife. It rocks. It's got amazing um, strength dex and faith scaling. Uh, we can make the large, so large Sword of Searching, a big-ass curved sword from Old Hero, and we can make the Morian Blade, which might sound familiar to people familiar with Dark Souls um, 3. Oh, do you have... But, yeah. Anti-Magic Field. Miracle from the Demon Storm King's Soul generates an... Uh, uh, all right, generates a field around the user that prevents magic from being used. This miracle represents the power of God against tremendous malice. It is one of the greatest miracles, aiding all who are righteous. So apparently it's etiquette in PvP not to use that because it creates a lot yes, of lag. Yes, I see. I certainly cannot force you to do anything. But you must remember this. A demon soul is a source of evil power. Yeah, righto. I just want to make sure. Yep. Wrong thing. Yeah, um, PvP etiquette. It lags the fuck out of everyone, apparently, God, so... Um, yeah. I'll show it off when I can. So I'm gonna need three levels of faith. Kind of sucks. So we're already level 48. We got a lot of levels insanely quickly. It's impossible to escape, isn't it? You have your... Yeah, Frank, let's have a look. Nothing new. Ah, oh, goddammit. I am full... Yeah, shut up. Alright, well, I guess that's it. Um, I could go talk to the Monumental, but he's probably not going to have anything new to say. None of these guys are. So, well, I... Actually, you know what? Let's talk to Freak once and see if his dialogue has changed up a little. Probably hasn't, but you never know. You... He has power over Dark Souls. No. I am... F I can... Yep, okay. Well, that's all. I guess we're done here. Oh, come uh, on. Let's do this. Because I'm sick of this. Soul Ray... Um, we'll go Water Veil. Yes, actually, Water Veil will be... Hmm. We'll do this. Um, Flame Toss, and we will go... Yeah, Water Veil, because there's some fire damage. Be careful how you... Use. In Valley of Defilement. Rightio, so that's all. Um, Groovy. I don't know what I'm going to do in terms of upgrades in between. Um, hmm. Because maybe Sard... Maybe because of my strength, um, it might be worth going into the, um, the crushing infusion or... Uh, it's probably not going to be worth using um, quality yet, but regardless. I got some pretty good weapons. I didn't use you once, I used the axe the whole time basically. Alright, cool. We made a lot of progress today. It's just sub three hours for me. Um, barring that long fucking break I took. Oh well, as I'm saying now, goodbyes. Well, my goodbyes. Let's run up, and we'll just see the monumental once. Yeah, cool. I'm, we made a lot of headway. This gives me a lot of options, and honestly, I'm a lot fucking stronger. Holy shit, 48. Wow. Cool. Right here. Well, hopefully the monumental has something to say. Otherwise, this is uh, this is 45 minutes, uh, 45 seconds of nothing. Have you received assistance? from the Candle Maiden. She is a prisoner of this Nexus. It is her duty to lull the Old One back to slumber. That is why she helps those who hunt demons. And that is why she has become a demon herself. There we go. So I think 
he would have told us this the second we came back up to chat to him um, after talking to her and leveling up, but yeah, no, no, at least we know it now. A soul is the essence with which living things comprehend the world around them. When one loses the soul, one loses the mind. And a land barren of souls is absorbed by fog and banished to the infinite darkness. The old one is the bottomless pit of nothingness with an insatiable appetite for the souls collected by its faithful demons. The old one's very nature cannot be fathomed by the living. Honestly sounds a lot like the abyss and dark souls. The old one is the Okay, yep. Well, that's it. I'm groovy. Ah, uh, we could do it, but yeah. Radio. Cool. We've uh, made it this far. What? Really? Hold on. Hold on. The fuck on. You can really do that? How did they get there? What a fucking champion. Holy shit. Huh. Well, anyway, that's that. Um. End of Shrine of Storms. It's the beginning and end. Well, now we are one with God. Um, and not with the magicians at all. I suppose we are truly divine. The Lord is on our side, etc, etc. Ah, fuck this. Alright, thanks for coming along. Catch you later. And... Goodbye.